Okay, folks, so here's a for loop in action. This is Python code. Before I run the code, I would like you to tell me what's going to appear on the screen. So have a look at the code, then come and tell me what you think is going to appear. Pause the video, don't cheat. Go. Okay, here's the solution. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Why? Well, the range starts at 1, finishes at 11, and it's going to count all those numbers in between, including 1. Here, it's actually going to be adding 1 to the value. So here, it'll run the loop 10 times. This is basically saying, I want the loop to run 10 times. Here, it's OK. After the first time it's run, let's make it 1. The second time it's run, make it 2. For the third time it's run, make it 3. For the fourth time it's run, make it 4. Here is a counter which basically counts how many times the loop has run. Okay. Oh boy, cancel, 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 cancel. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, look what I've done now. I've changed the code. So I've got a word which says hello, Daniel. I've got my counter. For counter, in range 1 to 11, say 10, print out word. What do you think is going to happen? Pause the video, tell me. Okay, let's run it. It prints out Daniel. 10 times. Now let's change the code again. So, what we're going to do instead of having for counter in range, for counter in word, print counter. have a guess what's going to happen. Actually come and tell me this as well. Okay, so let me explain. It knows how many times it's got to loop because it'll loop the amount of characters in words. So it'll loop 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 times. It'll run 11 times this loop. Now counter stores, remember the shelves, it makes a shelf, it's going to have 11 things in the shelf, and it will store one at a time each letter from that shelf. So if I run it, this is what happens, hello Daniel. So let me pause and explain. Okay, so let me explain this so that you understand, I hope. So, we've got, hello Daniel, it 
This word is actually treated as individual characters. So it's split it up like this. For counter in word. What will happen is this. The loop will take the first letter, H. It will create its shelf. And it'll stick it in there. Remember, it knows how many shelves it needs. Blah 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 blah. And currently, counter is H. So it'll print and display the letter H. When counter becomes number two. counter will take the second letter, it will store it, and it will display the second character. But instead of going across, it will go down because it's number two. Counter now becomes number three. It takes the third character, stores it in the shelf so it knows where it's at, and puts the L in, and so on, and so on. When a for loop works to count numbers, it's exactly the same. So if you wanted to count for a range between 1 to 10, it'll go. It'll make its shelf, and it'll count up, but going down the screen. So let me give you another example.